So then memories are the source of, of virtually every problem. And memory engineering is this technique is going to be what you can use as the solution to shift these things. Yes, absolutely. It takes uh, on average about 10 minutes to uh, uh, now I'm not saying it's good. Your big, huge problem is going to be completely resolved in 10 minutes, but a lot of people see dramatic things happen, but usually in a short period of time, days, weeks, uh, you start to see these huge issues you've never been able to get a handle on before. And it's not that you're getting a handle on them now. It's that it automatically your beliefs, thoughts, feelings have changed about them. And it's, uh, it's pretty remarkable. And, and uh, it, the reason it took me 30 years is because the unconscious mind protects these memories from being healed. So uh, it, it's not only stumped me, but everyone else in the field, because your unconscious mind, which is a million times more powerful than your conscious intention, doesn't want these healed. Why not? Yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, uh, it's a parallel to how your immune system works. You know, if you're listening to this, you've probably heard at some time or another the way vaccines work and the way viruses work. That if you ever get a virus and get sick for a week or whatever it is, you can never get that exact same virus again. Because when you get it the first time, your immune system catalogs it. And then if it ever comes in again, it knows what it is and it goes and attacks it before it can get a foothold. Well, that's exactly why your unconscious doesn't want these fear, anger, because all, all those things mean pain. And, and so when you, the, when the, there's one of these memories in the unconscious, the unconscious protects that because then if something similar to that starts to happen, happen to you again, the unconscious mind said, ah, yeah, we know what that is. That really threw Alex for a loop seven years ago. So we know what to do now. So it it's sort of an early warning defense system that's really an exact parallel of how your immune system works. So you, but, but you got to find a way around that. I was going to say, but your immune system is great. It works well. This is like kind of counterproductive as far well, as I can tell. It is. And, and, and in my opinion, JJ, that's from thousands of years of devolution of our memories where, you know, uh, when, when back in caveman days, there were four or five things really to be scared of. And that was it. Today, we're scared of everything. I mean, we go into stress when the mailman comes, when the stock market goes down, when somebody looks at us funny in the grocery line. We're, we're, we're supposed to go into stress one to two times a year when that 18-wheeler is about to pull over on us or something. The average person, based on studies, is going into stress five to 30 times a day. 